You're so short. Should we be? That's 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 really or just the chair. That's the chair. Yeah. I can. You will hit that with your foot quite a bit, oh. and you will come down again. Ha! Ah, Nico Schliemann is not as short <laughs> as we thought. That's what she said. Apparently, those people don't need us because they're already talking amongst themselves. We should just turn this off and let them be by yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Ah, I see the chat there. Okay, I got it. We should uh, probably unhinge the chat. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. That way you can actually make the chat bigger and ah, you see more see, of the chat. I see, I see. I learn things. Ah. John, where are you going? What? Uh, can you people hear us? Anyone? We are attempting something extremely complicated. We have eight cameras and a computer screen running. We have this whole thing recorded so that we can later actually edit it. Uh, audio is actually being recorded externally, so, and blah, blah, blah. And, and then he had to drive here. That's really complicated. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, we were chatting. I'm like, hey, at some point you should stop by. And his next message before he read that <laughs> was like, hey, I'm on my way tomorrow to somewhere. Can I stop by? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, actually, when I when I sent you the iMessage today, it was like the same message, just like January last year was the last time I was here. January last year, yes, yeah. right before Nam. Yes, and everyone at Nam was like, "Oh my God, the Nico, the, the video with you, Nico, was so amazing." Yeah. Tom Quayle asked me about that video. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, okay, but Tom Tom's a cool guy. He's he's a mate of mine. He is. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, he is. Uh, so. Uh, I think they can hear us. We hear you, says Zander. Zander has no life. Zander is always in these things. I love it. Who? Zander. Who is it? I don't know. But <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's always <laughs> hanging out in the live chats. Okay. That's good. We need more people like that. A lot more people. So I don't know if you guys know what you're in for. Um, I don't know either. either. Yes, we're not really here to amuse you. Um, I wa <laughs> Ah, you work from home a lot. Uh, home a lot, Camelot, home a lot, what? Camelot. Oh. <laughs> and now I, there's something completely different. Now there's something completely different. <laughs> Camelot, it's only a model. <laughs> um, I thought, since I suck at interviewing people, as many of you have pointed out on a regular basis, <coughs> that what I want to do with artists is if I can get enough time with them, instead of talking about the guitar, which they've done in many interviews, <laughs> yeah, I've been as BT or I don't know what the I don't know, something. It has some, some 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 name. Yeah, I've been as some name guitar blue. Yeah, it's something um, like with twenty two, not twenty four. Ah, the I've been as twenty two. Twenty two or four. I don't know what the O four. Custom twenty two is that? No, it's that's a different brand. Actually, it is called the AZ twenty two O four. I don't know why O four. Don't ask me. It's twenty two O four, and the twenty twenty four O four is the. 24 fret version with two hamburgers. Yeah, I don't want that. But I don't know the color code. But we're not talking about the guitar. No, no, yeah, so no. the point was, um, <laughs> they do this in, in every other interview. And then there's like, what's life on the road like? And blah. So I thought, let's not do that. I want to see if I can do a format where I have an artist over. And as I'm going to say equals, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just write a track together. Yes, sure. Instead of coming in, noodling over a track and... We actually build one. We actually build one and see how we gel as musicians and just have fun. Which is, of course, a longer format, but hey... Who cares? You, you, you know where you are, so... Um, and what we could do, and we're testing this for the first time, he's my guinea pig, we could <laughs> do this live and then record it and edit and upload it in several probably two or three parts maybe yeah or one long part uh in nice 4k with great audio but technically you should be able to hear us let's see if you can hear let's hear if you can see no uh the you know the guitar testing go <laughs> Uh, hey, no. hey, Chris, Carl, Ben, Lord, JP. Oh, good, good. Is that Jason Priestley? Who? J oh, uh, uh, Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> or is that John Petrucci? <laughs> hey, Ed, Sebastian. Obviously, Dave. Dave is here! The who's, amazing Dave. Who's Dave? 
Dave was at uh, TGU. He was the gatekeeper for the rooms. He he gave out ah. the schedule. He was the man in control. Uh, I should say hi from Daniel from Albanus, and I should say hi from Guillaume, another YouTuber at TGU. Not the one, not the not the Thomas Guillaume. What's his last name? Shenin. Yes. Yeah, that's that's uh, the, the the bearded man from To Dot Man. Yes. And uh, uh, well, hi Daniel. In case you're silly enough to watch this. I think at some point he, point he will watch it. Yeah, if he has some spare time, which he doesn't. That poor man. Because anything Ibanez. You know what this is? Is it for you to remember what it's the names from, of the no, strings no, no. are? <laughs> this, is, this is exactly for, um, for my guitar tech. Um, I have a, a short road story. Short road story. I have five instruments with me. Mm -hmm. um, and we've we've done it like that. Okay, there are some. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, where is wait, the camera? Wait, wait. We have many. Uh, we have many cameras. Wait. Let me see. Good. Get that down. Get that down. Get that down. There you go. Uh, okay. What we have here is the tuning. Uh, one is it's guitar number one. That's the standard tuning one, okay. and the tens are the string gauge. Gauge, gauge. The gauge. Gauge. You uh, did you play different gauges on different string, different yes, guitars? Yes. Oh, okay. I do. I do have uh two, tuned to standard tuning, which have ten to forty six. Um, I have one tuned down a half step that has eleven forty nine mm -hmm. on it. I have a shorter scale one, which is uh one of the uh Art Star series or the artist mm -hmm. model, um that has a shorter scale that ha also has elevens in standard tuning, and then I have a drop D one. And the drop and D has no drop D is, is 10, no. to, ten to forty six. Okay. Also, I could have could have done a, a, a bigger low E string, but I stayed with the forty six because I, I'd have to change up string sets and, and mix them. Yeah, no, that that it gets a little bit too complicated. Yeah, yeah. So and, pretty much elevens and tens. Yes. Okay. Exactly. I do strat scale length or Fender scale length is uh, in standard tuning is, is tens for me. Uh, Les Paul scale length is 11s for me in standard tuning. I always have I have tens. I used to used to play 11s quite a bit, but uh, in normal tuning. Yeah, I did that. I have uh, I have tens on all the instruments that have a fixed bridge or a normal tremolo, and uh, on any of the shreddy guitars, which are like uh, the Gem, the Satriani, the Steve yeah, Moore's, yeah. on anywhere. I don't know the Ferrari guitars. The, yeah, uh, I have <laughs> nines for some reason. Really, I I can't play with nines. It's, it's, it's not, I don't, it's I don't not know. It, I maybe maybe play. because I just don't want to change the settings. I don't know. I, uh, it's, just... it's not it's not the handling. It's it's just I I, I can't uh, internet bendings with thinner strings. I have to have a certain push to internet mm. well, and I can't do that with nines. I'm See, I I, I don't internet well no matter what string gauge I play, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> So here's what we're gonna do. Since we don't have a lot of time, we're gonna do something yeah. more complicated and then challenging. Usual, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the only idea I have conceptually is um, for a verse seven eight with constant structure major seven over uh, an A because that's just moving chords around and it's a cool sound. It's kind you of mean a like major sound. major seven over an A like this. Um, is that what kind of it's a major nine. Uh, do the uh, drop two, drop two on the four top four strings. No, uh, just the top four. Why do I want to have a guitar? No, drop two on the four strings. Why are you drop two and four? Drop two and four. <laughs> what, uh, uh, what, which... This thing. Ah, that one. Okay, I gotcha. This. Yeah, and when you move, when you move this from C, C D E F G A, you can. Yeah. It works literally everywhere yeah. with an A in the bass. That's that, no. that. <laughs> That's on the C one. notes. Use it on all the C notes. Why? Cause, Cause that they, they, it works. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to find something melodically that that's pretty, but I'm pretty sure we can figure that yeah. out. We are in seven eight. And we're gonna just do a seven eight picking pattern. But I'm gonna do the. I have to turn that. I won't say Ali Miola, but that's wrong. Uh, no, 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 no
drummer, not Aldi Miola. Vinicola Youth. Yeah, thank you, yeah. That's what I'm... The, 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 <laughs> the Aldi Miola of drums. Yeah, but, yeah. No, but, but honestly, Vinny is way, way more uh, complicated than Aldi Miola is. But what Kola Yuda does when he does a place or played, used to play with a Sting. Yeah, seven to, days. Uh, to do mm. any kind of odd signature, uh, odd signature, odd time straight, he pretty much just keeps a right or a hi hat or quarter notes. And he mm. turns it around in the second measure. So it's I, actually yeah. really simple to play over it's that. It's actually a 7 4 rather than yeah, a 7 Yeah, exactly. Nine. Okay. But with, with the re trigger in the middle. Yeah, that's, so it'll, that's, that's so cool. It'll sound like a 4 4 where you're anticipating the second measure, yeah. which then is a 3 4. Yeah. Like can one, any two, can three, can anyone follow us? It's like yeah, it's 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 dumb, but. Good morning from the US. Hello, old man, Dan. Mm. So we'll do this. Yes. Do you have something something pre-programmed? No, right? no, no, no. Yeah, okay. We're starting from okay. Lou Scratch. Uh, for that, we have this yeah. view right here for you people ah. or Lou people out there. Um, it's going to be very difficult for me to work and switch. I will try to do that. Uh, this might actually be better because we can actually talk to you. Yeah, um, that, that's good. Uh, then we have this, which shows more tats on an, uh, the other arm. And shorts. <laughs> tats and shorts. <laughs> uh, here we can see what amps we're using. And then I have cameras that are completely pointless. But you can see what we're looking at. It's a rather complicated this, this is the shit. setup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to know what, what's going on in the cameras at yeah, this point. It's, it's, uh, it, it's difficult to focus on the camera you're working with when there's so much to look at. I think Martin had the same problem when he was here. We, he was sitting like there. No, he this. was actually just looking at that. Uh, no, he was looking at the screen the whole time. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. That's that's what I, I'm doing also. It's like... Uh, like try, try to look at the... The, the thing yeah. with the uh, cameras in the front is you see the red light jump. I know, I, I've been on TV several times. I'm I know just saying, where, what the red light is. There's a little tally light. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. This is where you look at. And then it, it gets difficult when the red light's over there. You know, because and you don't know that it's over you there. You know, in television, when they have like a lot of cameras, they always have a guy pointing at the cameras for the for the host guy. That I need knows. that. Yeah, you need that. I need a wait uh, pedal side. I need a very very tiny guy to sit right there yeah, and pointing at the cameras. Which <laughs> he just needs to be about this, this big, big yeah. <laughs> to sit in between. <laughs> Maybe we could train the ferrets to just sit yeah. there and go beep beep. That would be cool. Yeah, you, you work on that. We do. <laughs> so, hey, Mark. Uh, of course, with the chat, please uh, know that we can't follow the chat completely. Yeah. If you really, 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 really want to use the super chat, because that way we see it and also money. Um, but if you really have something that you want to ask us, or maybe even make constructive criticism when it comes to the parts, of course, we're not going to listen to you, but we'll read it at least. No, I mean, hey, maybe you have good <laughs> ideas. So, um, so let's do this. Uh, I'm in Cubase. I already have a drum kit loaded up, yes. which uh, is in BFD3. It's not a kit, it's something that I put together. Yamaha kick, it's for, uh, it's got a Ludwig super sensitive snare and other assorted drum things. Um, that is going, which you can't see right now, through actually probably 12, 13 individual channels. Uh, channels on the console, really being mixed like an actual drum kit. And here is... Uh, I think we, we need to switch to 7.8, right? Uh, yes. Before we do anything. Um, apparently, what's it called? Um, mm. Studio One just got version 4 out. Yeah, I, and it's the one uh, program that actually also added a drum editor, other than Cubase. I know, I know. I don't know if it's good. I've, I've worked with Cubase for 28 years. Can you believe that? Makes I me old. I started working with Cubase VST5 back in the 90s already. Uh, I had an Atari ST. And it was I'm called... I'm not that old. It was... <laughs> <laughs> I am. It was called 24. It, had, it did 24 MIDI tracks, but it already had a drum editor. So for me, that's home. Anything yeah. that doesn't have a drum editor doesn't work for me. So... Um, also, the resolution on the screen is kind of weird for me right now. Wait a second. Um, um, da -da -da, macro. Because I ha usually have more resolution on the screen. So, what you can see is that I have the different uh, drum things on the left. So, it's not a key editor where you have, you know, because it doesn't make sense nope. with keys. Nope. Um, I But you get used to it when you have to. Yeah. Uh, but what you could do here is great. You can actually, let's say, for in, for, an, for an individual, yeah. uh, no, for an individual instrument, I could send that to a different VST instrument. I could get my snare from Stephen Slate. I can get my kick 
from battery and it's all in the same editor ah. so i could actually have uh, like multiple channels i can and, i can yeah. send only for my hi-hat to an external yeah. box if i uh, wanted it means to you only have one midi track for yes. several um yeah uh, software I could have 10 different software yeah. instruments and really pick and choose individual sounds from that's them. That's nice. And that's why it's... Maybe I should switch to Cubase. <sighs> oh, Dave. Thank you, but you know you don't have to do that, right? You know that. Gas money. <laughs> well, that would be for you then. Because you drove Pro here. Tools doesn't have a MIDI drum editor. No. No, I use Pro Tools. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we do seven eight. Oh wait, we didn't switch that. No. Nope. Uh, you know how to do we, that. We also have, uh, here tucked out. There we go. Tucked out. Ah, there we go. Um, obviously, wait. I'm gonna drag that over here. No, I'm gonna add a Just new one here. We're gonna have to switch that a lot because I'm I'm saying chorus should probably be four four. I don't know why. We, we yeah. Or we'll just let's, drag let's it. Just, or we'll yeah. just keep it through. We'll just, it's probably more confusing yeah, if we switch yeah. it up. Nah, I don't know. He's like, oh, whatever you throw at me, I can handle. Uh, where did it come? Here we go. <laughs> uh, so three, four, five. Let's do two measures and we start on those. Um, tempo. Yes. Yes, it should have a tempo. <laughs> That's good. And we're going to go subtle first. No. Subtle. <laughs> That's very subtle. <laughs> so, is this 7 8? Why is it 1? No. No, no, it's 7 4. I did 7 4. <laughs> Here we go. Much lo better. There we go. Let's uh, get that a little bit quieter. So, um, now should we do a, here we go. Should we do a halftime thing? Let's try it. And, uh, no, 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 what am I doing? That looks about right, and loop it. That's a lot slower than I'm imagining. Uh, 110? I would say 110, 115. 115. Last bit. One twenty-two. I would even go one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Okay, that's not good yet, but we're working on it. Maybe I hear that. More fucked up. No, the snare has to be one earlier. Yes. So, it's, so it's on it's regular where three. It, yeah. Let's do something where it always changes between major and minor.
as if there's at the end I want some kind of turnaround, but maybe we'll I have to double it and do it at the It feels unfinished. It feels not round. Das ist nicht so rund. Ist nicht rund. As we so as we say in the German. I heard. Sounds really horrible, but when you play it sounds totally awesome. I think the bass drum, yes, that's missing. That turns it around. gonna call that a basic part <laughs> and to get in we kind of are going to oh you can't you guys can see that here we go um, Ari is here hello Ari where are you are oh, there I'm, I'm, I'm sorry hello hello <laughs> look look we're like above the sequencer Hey, Ari. Uh, <laughs> back to this thing. Or, oh, that's our heads. Look, I've got your bommel in my face. <laughs> um, this might also not be a bad, no. Come, here we go. That's a, uh, there we go, maybe that works. So, we need some kind of build up. Let's say, should the drums be there from the very beginning? Why not? Okay, why not is a good call. And of course, well, let, let's do a traditional build up, but of course in 7 8, which is gonna confuse the fuck out of people. <laughs> uh, beautiful, huh? That's amazing. Really horrible. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not used to everything being so so big. She said. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> maybe we maybe an accent on the one. I, I like that. If you have, if if you have an uh, also, uh, yeah. Because otherwise it's super confusing. Yeah. Okay, that's maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We'll, maybe we'll see. It's it's all malleable, as they say. So and then we of course need a symbol. Okay, so no intro. I think it, it should go straight into like a verse. If the verse is not noodling but melodic, I think that's good. and put them in my verse color which of course you don't know but that's my verse color so we'll double that 
Guitarist 6494. Who are you talking to? The drum BST, you missed that. You missed it. It's a BFD uh, 3. My favorite amp. Ah. Uh, who? I, from the amps that are here? I would go. I don't know. The revs are cool. The Friedmans are cool. Um, really depends on what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, it depends on. I, I mean, I, I could I could literally use anything here. I think that everything has its purpose. I think the. Uh, wait a second. Uh, ah. um, and, there. And then, you know, I want to go to. <laughs> Here, uh, the dynamics that we're playing right now, the white thing, yeah. I think is a super flexible amp. If I have to go on stage and need a lot of uh, sounds, yeah. that's killer. Yeah. If I don't do metal, but for me that would be unless I'm do going modeling, that would be a cover amp because it can cover a, a cover band drum. amp. Yeah, it can yeah. cover a lot of stuff. I mean, it's it's the same thing with me. If I had, uh, I, I seem to differentiate also between live use and studios. Yeah. Because when I'm in the studio, I do have I do have a matchless amp. I do have a kind of a, a London City, which is a plexi clone mm. from the 70s. Yep. Um, I have some kind of uh, non-master volume amps that are that have like one sound. You put them through the yep. aux or through a torpedo uh, live or something like that, and you can record them at home. It's 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 cool. You can do it like that. If I have to use uh, an amp live. And cover a lot of ground. I'm, I can go with a two-channel amp if it has a good drive channel and a good yep. clean sound. Um, everything in between I can do with pedals. Or That's if true. I have a very good clean sound, I can do everything with pedals. I'm in terms of flexibility, any of the refs for me they can cover a lot of ground yep. because all the switches can be programmed. It can be midified. Yeah, uh, you can turn but the effects loop on and off with MIDI. Honestly, I would. I'm not the kind of guy that uses a lot of effects from the amp. I'm not a not an every verb guy. I do that with pedals. I did my favorite uh, reverb is the Silver Spring reverb from Matt Professor mm -hmm. for Spring, and I tested it against the one in the ref, yeah. and it is as good. So, yeah, sure, so, sure. so with the yeah. one in the ref, I wouldn't necessarily need that. Um, but if we're talking about, I go on stage and I rock, which of course I don't. But let's assume I was going to go and play a rock gig. It would be the Dirty Shirley. Set that up in, in, in volume on the guitar and that's it. If, yeah, as soon as you don't need to switch between dirty and clean sounds, just like on the go. Yeah, it, like, that, it, that's it. You can do uh, that, but it's it's different. It, it's it has killer cleans, but you I have know, to, you have to work with the with the yeah, volume. Yeah. So if you're doing a rock gig, that thing and nothing else. Or yeah, uh, it, it it just depends if you're doing like let, let's face it, if you're doing like a CC top gig or an AC DC gig, or something something in that kind of rock manner, yeah. I could live with a single channel end. Yeah. do everything with it really control. just depends on what what you what you have to do yes when exactly. it comes to my favorite amp if i had to pick one amp i simply can't pick one amp not gonna happen <laughs> i can't oh. because i do so many different things um, back to topic um, what's my uh, opinion on uh, uh, esp and limited guitars it says uh, <laughs> limited <laughs> Li ltd uh, yeah i know but limited but, yeah I know, but it's that's sounds, what they were. If you if you spell it out, it sounds crap. Say, so, hey, I got a limited guitar. That's what it is. Yeah, LTD. It is. What, yeah. what else is it supposed to mean? Are, are people saying LTD? Uh, yes. Really? It's limited. Yes. I had one, and I uh, had a seven string uh, for I think a Horizon seven mm -hmm. string Fitzbridge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, recorded several albums with that. They and are fine. That was a killer axe. Um, ESPs. I don't. I don't really have a lot of experience with them. I've, I mean, I played some wow, years ago. That was way before LTD was even out there. So I, I don't remember, but I, I had some good ESPs in my hands, but they were kind of all the it probably super, super strength type Flood Rose thingy. It, it's more the heavy hard rock metal thing, and yeah, it, but, would, it wouldn't be my go-to guitar. But an old guitar teacher of, of mine, he had a like, mid-90s ESP Strat copy, which was great. It was a really good strat. I'm sorry, I'm, I was distracted by freaking Dave going the going 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 there. Don't go there. <laughs> the <K> Nico <laughs> really tried hard not to go there and say the K word. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Oh, that was horrible. That's more subtle. 
Do you like the Demarcia Super Distortion pickup? No. I have no idea. I play the pickups and I, I mean, guitar. The, let's face it, the, the Super Distortion uh, was like the first high ga or high output pickup that came out in the, I think, end of 70s. When, I, I when, have no idea about pickups. When, Zero. No, uh, it's uh, it's the first. It's, it's called Super Distortion because it does like kick your amp. <laughs> The balls. Ah, okay. It's like you had to use something like that to get like more gain out of your amp back when you had like a Marshall and uh, maybe I don't know a, a fastbox or something, and you needed more gain. Why are you so mean? Am I, am I mean? No. Do you feel like I'm mean to you right now? No, not yet. That's coming. I mean, <laughs> it's all planned. <laughs> don't spoil things. No, I'm, but I'm, I'm not a fan of this Super Distortion pickup. I, like I, I, I play the pickups and the guitar, that's it. I yeah, don't know about them. But I, pre I, yeah, I don't care about pickups either, but I like pickups with lower output because yeah, they because tend it, to behave like... You can better. always boost. Yes, you can always boost and they have like a, a broader tonal range and a more dynamic range yeah. and stuff. And you don't kick and too hard. So let's say, so how long should the verse be? Do you, do you already have a chord progression? I would, I would do something like Satriani, like this. Okay. So you'd go fucked up? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. but it leaves a lot of room and you can, you, you can do melody stuff on that. Okay. Yeah. But then... We'll go with the, then we'll pick the constant major seven for the chorus. We can do that. And we'd still have the, the A, so it would pretty much be A the most. <laughs> but then it would be really awesome once we change the A. We, we can also do the verse in a different th uh, key. What did you have? Did you have an A? Okay. So mean that we don't have to... Uh... That's, that sounds. I mean, fine. Everything's possible. Yeah, well, we'll 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 go with the possible because <laughs> yeah, we'll, the impossible we'll we can't do. Yes, that's. I know things. So um. <laughs> uh, well, then play your thing over the thing. We'll do three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yes. Oh, you didn't record, okay. No, no I didn't record. Um, uh, a, try to emphasize the 7-8, not the 7-4. So have a picking pattern that, that hits that anticipated... Ah, yeah, okay. You, you could just go straight, straight eighth note. Okay, Let, let's loop that. Oh, well, that's not working. No, don't don't, don't no, no, go 16. No, 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 no. Yeah. Where are we? We're like 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. Just, just go straight eighth. What we could do is... actually could use a 2290 if you do straight eighth notes do a little dotted 16th action but that gets really busy at that tempo 130 is a bit fast if, we, if it's subtle in there I mean there's something we can do with the plugin later yeah, yeah we can play around with yeah it, it would have to be it would have to be really quiet in between yeah. so no, just just go straight eighth I mean uh, we have to decide if we if we do like something like more like more rhythmic more spacey I would, I would go spacey yeah, yeah. I mean it, it could be cool if it was like not so spacey in the verse and, and gets more spacey in the chorus part so it opens up more okay uh, just to yeah. create I, excitement chorus I'm, has I mean, to open I'm, up I mean, I mean we, we could just well, 
Oh, that's gonna the bass is gonna do that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abs absolutely. Um, yeah. I mean, we could overdub something like that. Is just really yeah. Let's do that. Uh, leave the leave out the one. I will. I will leave, try. Leave to. out the one and. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. And okay, we'll do yeah. that with a, with a nice pad. Yeah. Maybe even throw some kind of uh, shimmer reverb on the table or something. Yeah. To do like cool pads. Where is that? I I I I, I have a pedal. Yes. You've been begging so long to get that one. Don't don't show anyone. No one knows it. <laughs> no one knows. Don't 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 tell people. It's a secret. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, are we filming this through DSLRs? No, not really. They are black magic cameras. If you look look through this, those cameras over there are that's the black magic. There's one, there's one, and yeah. Hey, Dan Daniele. I'm gonna say Daniele. I don't know how you say your name. So, um, okay. So try this. Let uh, give me the the pickup bar to <laughs> the, the the beautiful pickup bar. wants to play the downbeat <laughs> and maybe I have to leave it in for a second you can do it come on just imagine it really hard okay I got it yeah I think 7.4, that's way easier. But that's cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let's just... Can we record that now? So we got it down. We'll, we'll do a rough one. Where do we go? Let's say we go here. Or do you have like a MIDI bass? Uh, yes. Can we just uh, have the one from the bass on the A just programmed in there? So it's... Uh, it's not a problem. Oh, uh, also, uh, I would, I would uh, say find some other chord so it's not just those two because yeah, I, yeah I, I know we, I we need we need we need a we need another one for the end of the yeah of the because phrase, the danger yeah. will be that then it becomes too noodly and not melodic enough oh. so we're doing a there right yeah a, it's uh, all a yeah well, that doesn't work it's a bit low Wait, guys, I got a uh, here we go. Boink. That's from Native Instruments, by the way. That's a P bass from the Native Instruments library. So let's say for now we're doing this. Yes, that sounds good. Major seven, I think E major seven there uh, uh, earlier, which was cool. No, with, with, with the, yeah, with the e. yeah, you went to that or something, with, with, but with the A, you did something earlier with those two chords, and then you added. You can do everything with it. I did the. E. Ah, what what is that? Uh, that's, that's E major just... over A, A major nine. Without a third. Okay, okay, yeah. It's one of my favorite chords. And I don't know. Ah, that's the. Steely Dan. Ah, that's the... Okay, yeah, yeah. Beautiful voicing. Yeah, it's just... I, 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 I mean, it's, that. If, if it's, it's minor, minor yeah. seven, and you raise the fifth just... Accidentally minor. at some yes. point, and then that happens, yeah. It, some people call it, like, minor wait, seven. Um, show, show, show the nice people in guitar. There we yeah, go. Oh, wait, we do, that's we, wrong. We, Here we'll we do it, we'll uh, do it in a key that everybody knows we'll do it in E. <laughs> so, uh, if I turn around like this... 
this. This is an E, major, uh, e minor 7 chord. And if I raise the 5th, which is here on the D string, by a half step, I get this. That's a G major triad on top, a C here, and an E on the bottom. And technically, it would be a C major 9 over E. As far as theory so goes. So if you just add this... Yeah, that's a C major 9. Yep. And that's basically an inversion of it. And it's a drop three voicing. From an arranger's uh, standpoint. E minor seven augmented. Hey. Uh, no, it's not. It's not augmented. It, what well, he's he's asking. No, it's not augmented. I mean, you could you could say it's E yeah. minor with hate, an additional. I, you honestly, could. Honestly, I hate when people call uh, chords like that E minor seven sharp five or E minor seven flat six. It is not an E minor chord anymore. The, the question is, what does it sound like? And its function is definitely a C. It's a C. Yeah. It's a C chord. Yeah. It's f this here. It's just, yeah. it does have a nine in it, and it has a third on the bass. The thing is, if you saw it as an E minor 7 augmented, and you played that, you still have achieved the same thing. Exactly. On the other hand, if you have some kind of chord progression, which is E minor, E minor 7, and uh. then... But the point is, if that is something that's coming out of an E minor, when I saw that on a page, it might be easier to call it E minor 7 sharp 5. Yeah, but because I am coming, but, but I'm coming from an E minor context, and it would be easier. But if I, if I had to do the James Bond thing, I would go E minor, C over E, E minor 6, E minor 7. You would still call that yes, C over E? C over E. Because it is a C over E. My brain just works like that. I want to see it as it is. I want If the... I was reading a chart, I would want to read because I can see the, the one thing that changes. Yeah, but yeah. But to read it it's easier. Then again I yeah. can't read shit. So <laughs> so in that regard, what do I know? So we haven't decided what we do now. Um We started in my Oh, what you just did? Wait. What? No, no, no. Go, go, go back. What, what? Do, 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 do. Wow. No, no. And then stay on that. Go up. I don't know. I need a fucking guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make this weird yellow one. So what's your what's your thing there? It's uh, just a C sus two. I mean it's A minor eleven. So you're not even playing playing the no. A string. And you want to change there? No, I don't know yet. Uh, I mean we we could do it like. Uh, I mean, the problem with with that kind of part is it it cries like to be moved around, like it's a modal thing. Yeah. So it has to go somewhere and, and have have the same structure on top of it. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I'm I'm afraid it could quickly be too out there. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just changing major and minor. Lydian. This is Emma. Back at Emma. Ah, okay, okay. Well, how about this? Then here. Yeah. Then you go here. Ah, uh, yeah. But but that's that's a nice move also. It's totally different. Uh, uh, no, I actually meant like the, the chord you had earlier with the, with the E, which is a uh, 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 USC sharp. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I don't like the voice leading. <laughs> I mean, it, it's 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 it's. it's I, I, I like that it stays here. That we have that that that, that E stays yep. here. 
okay, so not 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 go for the G sharp. Yeah, exactly. Leave that out. Just leave. Take. Okay. Constant structure, yeah, and then go from a sus four to a sus two. I like it. Thing. It, it opens it up a tiny little bit. It makes it. It's the Satriani and, and, pieces where he's and the all. The thing is, the thing is, you can interpret this one and this one either major or minor if you want to, because it has no third in it. Yep. I mean, you could go. You see, there's a, there's a, a there's an A. Yeah, yeah. If we're, if we're on A, it can be anything. Yeah, it can be anything. That's good. That might that might be good when we want to find melodies of it because we have like the. I have an idea. <laughs> what if what if that was the first chord of the chorus, that but with E? It's the last chord of the verse. No transitional bridge, and then it becomes it becomes the first chord of the chorus. So no. You may like that. there for the chorus. Yeah, 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 that's that's sounds like let's just try and fix that for the I try to do my best to not fuck up with that. Where's my Apparently you're a wizard. Who? Says uh, that guitarist man. Oh, thank you. And Robin says, "Hey Robin, by the way, uh, where where are we?" Wait. Robin! No, wait, why doesn't this... Here we go. Robin, hey! Dragon Square, that's uh, Robin from Tegu. And then we have Hadley. Yes. Hey, Hadley. So, um... So... Uh, let's uh, move that back in. Let's, uh, let's play... Here we go. Uh, oh, wait, let me see... Eingänge, Inputs, uh, four, that's the wrong one, we need this. So, play a bit. Play. Good. We have le level, as they say in France. This is so weird with not, not all the resolution I'm used to. I'm missing space. Um, okay, go! just been called the famous magician from the first take for real group <laughs> ah okay okay let, 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 me, let me do just one more pass so uh, I was just gonna say can you do that in good too yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try to I uh, mean the second half was like better because I let the bass note away but it, what, it, it, uh, it, it takes what, some time to get in what you people need to realize is that friendship and niceness for me, goes out the window once people are in the studio and we're trying to get shit done. I had James Sabri behind the mic and I'm like, hey James, can you actually do that in, you know, not flat? <laughs> and I had Sebastian Bach in the studio. He didn't quite get my approach of insulting him behind the mic. The thing is, at the end, we had results. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I try to be a nice asshole. I'm like, hey, but dude, that's fine. Can, can you do that in good? <laughs> I mean, I know, I know that it's not, it wasn't. I know. It wasn't the take. And you know what? And I still saw you doing alibi A string. Yeah, yeah I, I, I did it at the uh, at the first pass just to get into it. But we can edit it. Ah, really? Yeah. Because that way I don't have to do shit later. It's already good. I know it's good. And all of a sudden, all your detail gets compressed.
That's pretty. Here we go. bit too compressed for because I, I don't like it uh, when when clean sounds are so compressed I but like that the details coming out and the spankiness yeah. I was I was just like playing it not so um, pronounced but you were holding back yeah but that's okay it's supposed to be floaty and in, in, in subtle let the compressor do the talking I could also take uh, the compression down but that that sounds like work. Um, let's double that. Yeah, shall we do the... Octave? Why not? Um, yeah, let's do that. Do it again, please. Happily says, listen back once. No, I don't do that because I usually know if I fucked up or not. Who's yes. got time to listen back? I don't. I even I don't even collect takes when I'm feeling I did something. Wrong. I delete them and yeah. I do it again. I'm not listening back to old takes. Never, never, ever. You you know if it's good or not. Yeah. If if I if I'm engineering myself recording, I don't collect takes. I'm not the one to listen to. Here we go. Yes. By that so now um i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this make this a little bit bigger <coughs> i love my big stick first of all we're gonna chop that a bit we're gonna chop that brutally um so now i need to know the chords the chords yeah you need me. to know the chords. Yeah, because I need my my chord track here. A minus seven eleven. Mhm. Mm sure. Right, right. A yes minor seven eleven. Yes. Oh, they put the nine in there. You heard that? Yes. You suck. In the way that you don't suck, you suck. You know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so we need that, and then it moves up a half step. That's then it's an A major seven. Sharp 11. Yes. Then it moves up again. And it I mean, if, if, if we wanted the cool voicings, it's you can do slash chords in there. Yeah. Can you? Okay. Then it's a C sus 2 over A, the first one. That might be better. Yes, then it's uh, uh, C sharp, sus 2 over A. Yes. yes. Those, 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 that enharmonic fuckers. Yeah, but wait. Can, can you change that? No. No, 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 I can, I can, I can, I can, wait. <laughs> Somehow. Uh, Just leave it. No, okay. I, it, it really bugs me. I can't have that. 
Um, that, it looks uh, it, it looks disgusting, does it? Yes. If, can, you, if you know you at least ah, a, li a little bit of, of, of theory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's better. And then we have a D sus2 over, over A. Sus2 over A. And then it's over A. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Is it? Yeah. We have that, that should that should do it twice. So the piano can be there as a, mm -hmm. as, as a guy. We can of yes, course yes, later yes. turn that off. Um. So let me look what's going on here. They're both on the left. We really don't want that. We want that left and right. And they go in here. Ah, oh, that sounds nice. So that's good. Then we need some open chords, right? Yes. Uh, let's let's be cool and use the ventures. Yeah, yeah, because also, how cool is my new mission engineering volume pedal that lights up? That's awesome. You guys can't see that. You guys want to see my new mission engineering volume pedal? No. Which which button do I have to press? Uh, it, pedal uh, side. It says pedal side. Pedal side on the the top one or top the top one top top. And then we'll just turn that off. Yes. Look at this. This is cool. But it has two outputs. And I think it's an A-B switch and then you actually go... Nah! And you know based on the illumination on your pedal yeah. board what output awesome. it is. That is awesome. And I mean the mission guys are... they are insane. And you see the, you see the back how it rounds off? Yeah. It actually has a wider range when you're yeah, sitting down. Yeah, yeah, but the pedal is uh, the size of the... Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's cool. And it's got a cool color. problem which my electrician has to look for. That's very good at a studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where's my pedal? Here we go. That goes over here. Damn it. No space for it. Wing wing. Oh, we had double reverb. Good then. No problem. So we'll get some volume pedal is not up. Uh, that's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Oh, no, no, it's, 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 it's double, it's both of them. I'm on A and B. Here we go. Wait. This, this. I think this is... If you're, a, if you're in A and B, you have two, two reverbs on top of each other. Oh. And then you have dry, wet and wet. Holy cow. So it's two independent engines. Yeah. This is... It's actually cool. <laughs> Shimmery, more shimmery thing. Yeah, I love it. It's 
just supposed to be subtle in the background. Yeah. Well then, do your, do your thing there. Let's try it. We don't try, we do. We Wait do. a second, uh, ah. and can't see you anywhere. Let's find out if I have if I have this. Yeah. Still can't see you, but I can do this. And get this down. I don't really need this at all. So I'm gonna do this and do that. <laughs> Wait, no. What? <laughs> Wait, working on it. Just entertaining with a few reviews. Here, now now we're talking. I just try to let, uh, do some different voicings so it gets a bit more complicated. Of course, because it's not complicated enough. Yeah, no. 